All right, guys, I just did a sample dip. Uh, got this film, didn't, didn't know what to use on it, so tried some Hydrovator, and uh, it dipped real nice. Got a blue background on that gold film, and now I've got a little PVA still on it, but I uh, always try to do a sample first before I dip, just to make sure I'm on the right page. Uh, saves you some film that way. Anyway, we're going to dump this. I don't know what it is, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 spoke into that film, but that film's only 19 and a half inches, and that wheel is 19 and a half inches, so we're going to dump a big piece in here, hit it with the hydrovator, and get it to expand out as, as, as wide as we can, we're going to try to hit 23 inches on it, and then use the dipping arm and try to drop it in. Uh, we got to go in flat, it's just, uh, there's so many spokes on it, at least I thought we'd go in flat. Uh, try it out first and uh, give it our best shot. I could probably pull it all the way through the water real slowly, try to get all the, the different spokes, but it will be a pain in the you know what uh, doing it that way. Uh, slow, long, tedious process with this thing in the way. So I thought this one here might work out. Anyway, we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. okay but uh, the rinse will tell what I did was I figured I was going to trap air right around the edge here wherever it decided to so I tape that off and uh, when I pull that off I'll have a little accent feature going around that just to, to keep the touch up down to a minimum I'm just trying to have a little experiment here and see what happens but uh, that's the reason for that orange tape there I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's rinsed off 
Okay guys, just pulled it out of the rinse tank. Oh, it's just drying up a little bit. Uh, we really got an excellent hit on this, okay? Um, got all the way around. I know I moved the camera, the part's too fast for you so you see, but trust me, it's, it's all good. And then we're together going to find out if this beauty line worked out. And there you go. Once we clear that, that black will sh shine. And we've got a nice little detail. We have no touch up on this whatsoever. Didn't trap any water. We get a little accent. So we, uh, we did two jobs in one right there. All right, guys, here's a little preview. I just shot some clear on that. We actually got a real good dip. I can't see any of that. Too much light. You can see I've got up inside those holes. Up in there. Down in there. There's a little beauty line. I might just take my uh, Eagler striper and run another color around that. Let's see what that looks like. Hey, the tsunami headed graphics, we're out.